Well, hello. Good morning. I'm Claire. This is Purple Poppy. And we've arrived at the final day of the Safety Pin Tag Series. Here's the nine that we've already done all the way around the edge. And we are now going to work on number 10. And I thought it would be fitting to go out with some Tim Holtz for day 10. I mean, we have got elements. I mean, we've got one of his photos there. Um, most, not that one, but most of the embossed papers are his. All of these die cuts are his. So, yeah, we've got some of him already, but now we're going to have a bit more to finish off with. So, there's my tag. As always, I've got no ink. And there's this beautiful flower. Not quite sure where we're going with that yet. There's a safety pin. Right, now, you may or may not have noticed that you're at a slightly different angle. I have rearranged my desk again this morning, mainly because in the corner here, um, I've got a stack of those like draw units um, that have got all sorts of bits of pieces in and they'd got pushed so far into the corner that I couldn't even reach in there anymore so I've had a little bit of a move around which is why I might sound a little bit out of breath also in doing that I've cleared some space so I'm able to zoom you in a lot smaller today um, these are nice aren't they we could have one of these uh, we're not going for 13 unlucky for some but we'll go for number 10 so I'm just literally going to be um, cutting and stamping and putting all sorts of various bits of yumminess on to this safety pin today see that one's had a tag cut out of it at some point um, we can cut or punch lovely circle out of that one so we're just building it up what else have I got in here let's bring it further forward make sure you can see it so we've used that one and that one what's this one I love those straight lines we'll, but they're a bit big for what we're doing here what else have we got there's actually some non Tim Holt stuff been popped in here we can definitely have a letter it's just lots of sort of off cuts from paper pads really I know it's been discussed almost to death but I'm not happy that he doesn't do the paper pads anymore and that now we've really only got um, the backdrops don't get me wrong the backdrops are nice. Should we have one of these like stencil cutouts as well? They're nice patterns, but I don't feel like you get as many options as you do with um, the paper pads. Go for words. Can't be a bit Tim Holtz, can you? Now we've got a number and a letter already, so I don't think we want one of them. Precious rulers, gonna save them. More letters and numbers. Clocks are too big. More words. Oh, can we get one of these butterflies in here? Is oh look at that. Look at that. Slightly cut his wings off, but that's good enough for me. What else have we got here? No. No. We have another, another bit of word. Bit of like newspaper word there. More numbers and letters. Yep, yep. No, no. No. Okay. That's quite a few we've got there. So let's move that out of the way and hope it doesn't all fall on the floor. And now I've got my punch. So let's get going with the punch. This is a really big one. So I'm going to punch it a bit lower 
so that we can, you know, move it down as it were. And then we've got him. Now he's going to get punched in the corner. And then we've got all of these little circles. With the circles, all I'm trying to do is make sure they're not hanging upside down. And I suppose I'm going to have to sit down there and work out what I'm going to do with all of these. I'm wondering whether to put them on a big board. Almost, you know, like a picture, maybe put a frame around it, whatever. Okay, now I did like, where's the one we did yesterday? This one. I did like the string tie holding that on. I think I'm going to do that again today, but I think I'm going to try and work it so I get the knot at the front. So we need a little bit of ink. What colour are we going to go for? That's all a bit sort of brown and grey, isn't it? So I suppose it's sepia. Good old fashioned sepia ink. This is the archival sepia. And because I haven't got my dirty mat out, I'm just going to cheat and do it on the lid. Like that. Lovely. Okay, so that's that done. Find some glue, if I can still see it. Because although I've moved everything around, you know what it's like? There's bits that don't get properly put away. So... Right. Um, I think I'm going to go more to that end today. Like that. Okay, that's the end of the glue. Not much glue in this, is there? Let's get ourselves one, two. Yeah. <laughs> they are bullet holes. <laughs> um, get a length. And let's um, I think I need to feed through from the back to ensure that my pin is <clears throat> uh, my knot not my pin sorry it's because I'm looking at the pin my knot is where I want it to be on the front so we go around that one no we need to go from the front not the back okay So there's my string for my knot. Okay. And then, honestly, who'd have thought something could be so hard to work out? It's a bit mad, isn't it? I'm sure there's a mathematical reasoning why you have to do it in a set way and it's just it's really freezing my brain this morning ah! right and now it's all starting to fry this is silly and i'm sure you're all shouting at the camera going just do that just do that For some reason it's not working right can't hear you shout louder okay so that pin is going to go there that is going to wrap around it like that and come out there so we have now at least got a fixture of sorts this one is then going around there yay See, we did get there. I just had to 
perhaps stop thinking about it. A bit like when you lose something and you try desperately to remember where you put it. And you can't remember, you can't remember, can't remember. The minute you stop thinking about it is the minute you find it. Right, so. I'm now wrapping this round here like a demented light. Oh, goodness me yesterday was so easy wasn't it when I did it yesterday for some reason today it's just look it's not happening oh actually perhaps it is now oh goodness me Mad woman. Actually, I quite like that. And although that was an accident, I could pretend I did it like that on purpose. But I think you both, you all know that's not true, don't you? I said both as if there's only two of you watching. There might only be two of you watching. Except look what I've done. I've done it on the open side. Oh, goodness. Maybe I should turn this off and start again. Right, undo it. Oh, it's going to be one of them days. And it's only Tuesday. What's it going to be like by the end of the week? Ah, my goodness. Right. That's the open side, Claire. Do not wrap it around the open side. Right, see now I did start to say, I actually like that like that. I could pretend I'd done it on purpose because it's put the pin right down on this angle here rather than across the middle. I quite like that. And as I say, I could pretend I did it on purpose, but I think we all know it's a big lie. It just happened, didn't it? Right, finally, that's only taken about four hours just to get a um a what a bit of fabric a bit of spring round a pin oh my goodness and now i can't find sharp scissors i give up i give up i use these cruddy ones so and the reason they're cruddy is because they're all covered in glue maybe if i looked after them a bit better it'd be a bit better you know you can't blame your tools if you don't look after them. Right, here we go. So I think, I think, I think this really big one is going to go on first. And it's going to go on that way, like that. Okay. Then I'm going to actually just go down in size. I think that's going to be the easiest thing. Um, otherwise, bits will get lost, won't they, underneath? So I'll just go down in size. And then they're all going to be on there and seen. Um, and then the bus will lie on the front, obviously. I mean, duh. Right, there we go. We've got all these different little bits. And actually, do you know what I realised yesterday? These would make awesome Happy Mails because that's going to fit in a standard little envelope, no problem at all. And then the recipient can pull off all these little pieces of ephemera and use them in you know, in a make project. I think that's an awesome idea. So let's just bring them all in so they're more friends than strangers. There you go. There, I didn't use that one in the end. There's our 10 safety pin tags. I hope you've enjoyed this mini series. Had some fun along the way. Maybe even made some of your own. So there you go. That's another 
idea put to bed. Tomorrow I'm starting on the new project I'm doing for Antonio Makes. That's using his Shabby Romance kit. So if you've got that kit or you've got the freebie from that kit that came out on Friday, you might want to tune in tomorrow and see what I'm going to do. Stay safe. I'll see you very soon. Bye bye for now.